assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this tutorial i am going to show you that how can you create a choropleth map so first of all what is a choropleth map a map is a type of statistical thematic map that use color pseudo color that have some meanings corresponding with an aggregate summary of geographic characteristics within a spatial unit such as they these color will show uh, the population density of that region or per capita income of that particular region so here i have a shape file of usa and have a look on its attribute table so in this tutorial we will create a choropleth map that will show uh, the population density uh, of united state in 1999 so here's a question why we use a choropleth map actually the choropleth map allow us to visualize information that tied to geography and it helps to compare and analyze data from across location choropleth map are the best way for data visualization uh, and popular way of in interacting with location specific data for creating a choropleth map we will firstly go to the properties of shapefile then we will go to its symbology and quantities and graduated color so here uh, we will see the value so we are actually want to create choropleth map that will show the population of uh, us in 1999 so we will select this field from here you can increase or decrease the classes and apply and okay so you can see over here that the darkish color are representing the highest density of population and so on and uh, this is the main states of america and this is alaska and these are the state of hawaii so you, uh, for let's see if we will increase the classes then what will happen eight just like that but i will go with five classes Okay, now we will label the uh, state's name. Go to its properties and then labels. And make sure that you have select the state name. Check this label feature in this layer. You can increase the size or decrease the size of your labels okay just like this okay so one more thing that you can also change the color again go to its properties and choose your color from the color ram okay i will go with this one and now we will create a layout of this map okay for creating a layout of this map uh, you can click layout view and you can also change the orientation of your layout like I want to go with landscape a5 you can increase the frame size just like this now we will add alaska and hawaii so again go to here check this and properties recheck this selection create a layer from selected feature again go to its properties
okay now go to again go to its layout view insert a new data frame Now again go to data frame and insert a new data frame. Okay, now we will insert a title. Okay, you can also make a double click on your title and you can customize your title you can increase its size you can choose different styles you can make them bold okay okay now we will add a northing scale Okay, now we will add legends in our map. So, if you want to delete any legend of shapefile, you can simply make a click on it and this, this, we will go with the legend of states. We will, uh, we want only these values in our legends. So, next, and you can edit your legends from over here. If you want border, background, drop shadow in your legend, you can play with this next, next, and finish. Okay, now we will add a scale bar in our map. So, insert, go to insert, scale bar. Here, there are a variety of scale bar so I will go with this one you can make double click on your scale bar and you can customize your scale bar too uh, you can say kilometer make it bold okay number formats you can make them bold and okay okay now we will label our states so go to its properties and then go to label and go to label style properties symbol properties edit symbol and okay you can increase the size just like this okay now we will uh, we will label these states so make a right click here and choose the draw tool
okay now we will add uh, the grids in our layout right click on your layout go to its properties and go to grid we will create a new grid by here next 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 finish and now if we will hit ok then you can see ok now if we don't want grid inside of our map we will again go to properties of our layout go to the grid properties and don't show lines and ticks okay and that's it here let's see what is the coordinate system of this shape file it is gcs north american 1983 okay now you can add a base map or you can also add a background theme to this layout okay now i will go with this layout without any background color or base map so now if you want to import export your map you can simply go to file and export your map you can choose the destination of your file you can save as different types like I will go with JPEG. Okay, save it. So, thank you for joining us in this tutorial on creating a Coroblath map. I hope that you found this information helpful in your data visualization journey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up, subscribe to my channel for more tutorial and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future content if you have any question or suggestion feel free to leave them in the comment below okay now if you want to know that how to create a elevation map of your country with the help of dem data you can click on top right corner and last but not least i love hearing from you uh, many thanks alafis